Hello everyone, welcome back to Rathbone Manor, where today I'm going to be taking a look at the new um, Chrome OS Flex. Okay, now what I'm not going to be doing is showing you how to install it because there are plenty of videos out there showing you how to do that. And you can also find it on the uh, Google website, Chrome website too. So I'm not going to be bothered with that. What I've got here today is um, two older laptops as you can see. Neither of these that I can see appears on the uh, recommended list over there at uh, Google, Google Chrome. And so I thought I'd try them on both of them. As you can probably see, I don't know if you can see that little light flashing away there, but the battery's not in very good shape on the uh, Dell here. Um, they both have issues with uh, Chrome OS Flex. But um, what I'll do is, I'll get them both booted up and we'll have a look at um, what they're like and we'll see what, they, what problems they've got, okay? Okay, that's the Dell started up. And here we have the Sony woken up. Okay, for, so for some reason the uh, Sony hasn't brought up the um, Chrome there. So let's see if we can work it. Let's have a look, get it going. There we go. Okay, so uh, now and again the, um, the Wi-Fi doesn't work on the Sony and it's not doing it this evening either. It was doing it last night, but uh, it's not going to do it today. That's why it's plugged into a, um, a LAN cable here. Uh, sometimes the trackpad won't work on it. It seems to be working. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we are. So it's a bit iffy on the trackpad for some reason or another. I think you can probably see it whizzing around on there, maybe. Just there. So you can see it whizzing around. If it stops working with the trackpad, I'll just plug a mouse into it. Um, the... Dell over here has all sorts of issues as well. We sometimes get um, the browser will crash every now and again. And we get this going on as well. You saw that. So that's a, cl a classic thing that's going on with this one. It's um, unstable because the um, Chrome OS Flex is via the what they call the dev channel, the development channel. And they do say it's going to be unstable. Uh, let's see if we can do a search. What can we find on here? Okay, so there's little gro there we go. So there's little Grogu from the Mandalorian. There you go. So that's quite a yeah, and it's crashed. Look, there we go. Your Chrome device restarted unexpectedly. And we can click restore on that, bring the track and pad down there. Right, and so there's little Grogu. Okay, so there's little Grogu. Uh, this is a, a Dell Latitude D630. And as I say, it's not on the um, recommended list or the, um, you know, the, the list they've tried. Uh, let's see if we can get the images up again. Where are we? Let's see what happens this time. Yeah, so the images, it's worked this time. And the uh, trackpad works okay on this one. There's a little Grogu. Yeah, it's still up this time, but you can see the issues we're having. For some reason or another, it does that to the screen each time that we, uh, every time we use it, every now and again, it'll do it. Let's go back to home again. Nothing. Okay, so it's, uh, what happens if we go down here to the, um, all right, let's have a look, bring up the, uh, Settings. How well does the settings run then? So look, so we've got no uh, connected to, to my uh, Wi-Fi there. We've got the device. It's gone for a while. Oh, and we've uh, restarted unexpectedly too. So that's the problems. A lot of problems we're having with a little Dell there. What about the um, little Sony? What do we have here? We have a, a Sony Vio. Um, 
it's got VGN Z11 VN down here. Um, let's have a look. Let's do the same set. Oh, yeah, look, see? Oh, here we go. We're back again. The mouse is a bit, the trackpad's a little bit iffy. Okay, same search. There's Grogu. Images. Hello. Right, see, there's no crashing, there's no restarting. This one's a lot better at running. I'm going to pop down here again and check the settings out. In fact, we've got some transparency going on here. Hopefully you guys, like myself, can see the uh, browser through the settings window there. OK. OK, so moving back to the Dell, we do actually have a little bit of a transparency to this screen here too. Um, except for the fact that it's slightly blurred in the background. OK, so you can see that's blurry in the background. Let's move across to the other one. And you can see it's a lot clearer. You can see through the uh, transparency a lot clearer on this Sony. OK, so is the, tra the trackpad's continuing to work this time. But we've got no, um, no Wi-Fi down here, so there's no Wi-Fi. That's crashed completely out. Um, it does actually run a lot. This actually runs a lot smoother on the Sony than it does on the Dell, which I believe is an older laptop. Um, and it doesn't keep crashing out. The screen resolution is quite nice on it. And it does. It will actually run a mouse as well. There's no problem with running a mouse on here. Let's have a look. Bring a mouse in. Here's my mouse. There we go. You can see the mouse is uh, running quite smoothly on here. No problem whatsoever. OK, so we have uh, more problems on the Dell at the moment. Now and again you'll get the screen completely ducking out. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh, what's happening this time? It's just gone blank this time. OK, images. There we go. Now it'll probably crash. It's taking all this time. Scroll to create. Yeah, it's crashed out the uh, the browser again. So it's a uh, very unstable on the um, Dell. No thanks. Okay. Um, the other thing the Dell has got, which the Sony doesn't have, is this little um, track buttony type thing here. So I'll, I'll try that. See if it works. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Can you see that, guys? See the mouse? Little the. Uh, Point is charging about on screen there. Okay, so as we can see, the little uh, the blue button thing there. Look, it is it does actually work. So they've got that sorted out. So you can actually track the um, pointer about quite well with it. Okay, then. So at the moment, the uh, Dell D six thirty is quite buggy. It doesn't really like. I mean, it will run other operating systems. I've had like Linux Mint on here and what have you, and it runs that quite well. But as I say, you have to remember that this Chrome OS, OS Flex is on the dev channel at the moment, and they do actually say that you could uh, experience problems with it. And neither of these machines you will find listed on the uh, Chrome OS Flex site amongst the recommended machines. But if you've got an old machine that's not listed, I would still recommend you go ahead um, follow the instructions for the uh, um, USB creation tool and give it a go. But bear in mind, as I say, you will find that um, it will wipe, completely wipe the operating system you've got installed on your laptop, so I would watch out for that one. You can actually run it as a live, a live um, USB, so you're not installing anything anywhere. But I went ahead and installed it on these two PCs, anyway, these two little laptops anyway. Um, as you've seen, how buggy the... Um, let's see if we can get it to crash out again, shall we guys? Just want more time. Let's have a look. Oh, so it's blacked out completely this time. And it's crashed the browser again. So that's the problem I've got with that. Everything else works out with it. Uh, the track pedal works nicely, as you can see. And the uh, little blue button runs nicely. So it more or less works. I, um, I don't think the... Let's have a look. Can we dim it? Oh, yes, you can dim it. The dimming works. As you can see, look, you can dim the screen away with it. So that works on here. 
Uh, what about the sound or the volume? Where's the volume on here? Let me find it for you. No, I don't know where the volume is on this one. It's probably on there somewhere. But yeah, so that's quite a buggy one. Let's have a look and see if the, um, the dimming works on this one, shall we? Here's the dimming. Now you see the dimming doesn't work on this one at all. But the volume, you've got volume down here. And as you can see, the volume does work, but the um, the brightness, screen brightness doesn't work on here. So that's another, that's a little bug on the Sony. Oh, trackpad is, there we go, look. See now the trackpad has completely stopped working. It was working earlier on. Okay, so there's the little arrow. Nothing, nothing at all. So that's another problem with it. it the the uh, trackpad will crash out every now and again and stop working. Um, we can get it going with the mouse again. There we go. Works with the mouse, but uh, not the trackpad again, apparently. So both of these machines have their little bugs. Uh, the the Dell. This is a, a D six thirty latitude. This is quite buggy, this is quite bad running it at the moment, but hope, I'm hoping it's going to be sending back um, data to Google, um, the Chrome OS Flex website, sending data back to them of what it's running, what problems it's experiencing. Um, same with this one here, that will hopefully send back, because I've, I've done it during the install, I've said yes, please send the information back, don't mind at all, because it, it helps them out with different computers. because. Um, both of these machines, if you try to run Windows or a, a heavy um, OS on them, they are quite slow. Um, but they're it's actually quite brisk. Both of them are quite brisk running um, Chrome OS. So I've managed to turn them both into Chromebooks. I would have liked to have done so with this little fellow here. But this is a 32-bit um, architecture on here. Uh, these two are both 64-bit, which is handy. So I'm having to uh, remain with, I think it's got um, uh, Linux Mint on here, I believe. But I would have liked to have turned this into a Chromebook, but unfortunately, no go on that one. So we'll leave that up there. So that's the two, um, yeah, it's crushed out, isn't it? <laughs> that's the two, um, let's have a look at the, uh, okay, so we've got the little the shelf here. Shelf works on that one. What's it going to do on this one? There's a shelf working on that one too. It seems to be a problem with the uh, the browser mainly on on here. It's um, the rest of it seems to run okay, but every now and again it will crash out. Now go on then, restore it then. Doesn't even want to restore it now, look. <laughs> so that's another bug. Yeah, so okay, can we shut it down? So yeah, it's even decided it's not going to play ball at all now, look guys. Oh, here we go. It's crashed it again, look. It's just completely taking it away altogether this time. Um, what about files? I think, it's, as I say, it seems to me that this, the, uh, the browser that creates all the problems on here at the moment, the Chrome browser. The rest of it seems to run okay, I believe. Let's have a look, what else can we do with it? There we go. Yeah, it seems to, that's, that's the problems I think we've got mainly with it, is using the browser. The rest, oh, no, there we go. So it's a little bit unstable, even though bringing up the shelf, as you can see there. Okay then, guys, so if you've got an old laptop kicking about your house that you can't use anymore because it's far too slow I would recommend you um, follow the procedures on the Chrome OS Flex website create yourself um, the media on the USB and even even you have to try it out with a, a live USB so you're not installing anything onto your laptop Unless, of course, you don't mind. If it's got XP on there, it's not supported by Windows anymore. Go ahead and install it and see what it's like, because you're not going to lose a great deal, I wouldn't have thought. And you could have yourself 
a fine little um, Chromebook from your old laptop. I mean, uh, as I say, we've seen they're both a little buggy. Uh, here we go. What's going on here? Then? There we go. Right in. So the worst of the two is the Dell D630. This one's not too bad apart from the uh, trackpad not, not wanting to work every now and again. But anyway guys, I, um, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at the two old laptops here running um, Chrome OS Flex. Um, hopefully as time goes by, you know, Google will get the information back from these, especially this one here, and hopefully we'll be able to do something about it and stop it um, crashing and being buggy. Because the idea of Chrome uh, OS Flex is to bring new life to old laptops. And these are both old laptops. This is the oldest one I've got. Um, but, you know, you, if it's a buggy like this, it's not particularly very clever at all. But, uh, yeah, I, you know, come on, Chrome, Google. See what you can do with this one. It's not on your list, but um, hopefully this will be sending information back to them. And uh, we'll see what it's like. All right, then, guys. Well, um, hope you enjoyed the short video here. Shortish. And we'll go ahead and shut them down now. And I um, hope you enjoyed taking a look. As yeah, I say, if you've got an old laptop at home you're not using, because you can't use it because the... Hello, here we go. Because the, um, the installed OS on it is too old. Like I say, if you've got XP, you can't really use XP anymore because it's no longer supported. It doesn't get any more security updates or anything. But, um, you know, you may be able to install Chrome OS Flex on it. Go ahead. I recommend giving it a try. You don't need, by the looks of it, you don't need one of the uh, recommended um, laptops. It will install, but it just might be a bit buggy for the time being. See how you get on. Alright then, guys. Uh, thanks for popping over. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you another day. <laughs>